what we're going to do in this video is have a look through the first few appearances of uh, Doomsday. And uh, this story arc is basically the death of Superman, um, which occurred in the early 1990s. And um, it was one of the most pinnacle moments in uh, comic book history. It, uh, it turned out to be a circus once the mainstream media got her, got a, got a wind of it. And there was a lot of, a uh, lot of buzz around what was going on with the death of Superman. And um, basically what happened um, with the Doomsday storyline was before the story, the Doomsday storyline officially began, um, Doomsday made appearances um, in the first appearance being in Superman the Man of Steel number 17 and it went on to Superman number 73 Adventures of Superman number um, 496 and Superman um, Action Comics number uh, 683 and it was a it was an amazing uh, story arc. It was actually a brilliant. It was it was very emotional and it had an awesome build up to it and um, amazing conclusion really. And uh, what they did was basically introduce Doomsday in all four of these issues, uh, just one page um, at the end. Uh, as a teaser sort of cliffhanger of what was coming and what happened after that was basically Doomsday made uh, his first appearance in uh, Superman Man of Steel number 18 and um, back then I'm not sure if that's the case right now I'm not reading any Supermans but back then the way uh, the Superman storylines went the Superman books work um, went um, they were basically printing four different titles for Superman and the way you knew what the reading order was um, they provided a triangle and every year the number would start with number one and it would cycle through all the way to the end of the year so the store the reading for these things goes from this is 1992 it came out with number 41 is the first appearance of Doomsday. And then it went up to um, number 42, as you can see right there. And then number 43 with um, the adventures of Superman. Number uh, 44 right there. And the Doomsday storyline officially kicked in with number 45 and this one being the first full appearance of doomsday and after that uh, after this issue um, the doomsday storyline crossed over into the justice league of america and this one is actually um, the second full appearance of doomsday and this storyline uh, in justice league is uh, in my opinion is actually more important than uh, the man of steel number 18 because it's in justice league of america number uh, 69 where uh, booster gold actually names doomsday as doomsday and his appearance here is um, i believe is much longer than superman man of steel and the storyline from there basically went into the rest of the superman titles and it concluded with uh, the death of Superman being, uh, I believe this is Superman number 75. And this is the bagged version um, of the issue where, you know, I haven't cracked this one open. I did crack open one of them and, you know, it came with a card and a poster. And this, this storyline was the death of Superman. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is actually have a read through the first four issues where Doomsday appears and just take a look at the build up to the Superman, uh, the Doomsday storyline. And, you know, maybe we'll flip through this one as well. But what I want to do is show you the, um, the cliffhangers, the teasers, the pages that they had in all these four issues. Um, and it was brilliant the way they did it. It was a very nice build up. Took weeks for it to. Uh, to unfold the uh, doomsday storyline the death of superman 
and um, it, it sort of um, was a pinnacle moment uh, definitely for the 1990s and definitely in comic book history it's a, it was a brilliant story arc um, and very emotional uh, most definitely and uh, everybody that was reading comic books at the time uh, read the death of Superman I, I didn't know anyone that wasn't reading it okay so um, let's put the rest of these books on one side and slowly crank crack these open and uh, and uh, take a look at um, what this is all about right so this is uh, Superman Man of Steel number four uh, number 17 and it's the 41st uh, story in uh, for Superman for that year right the 41st issue I guess okay. so let's crack this open and we're not gonna read uh, through the Superman story in this um, maybe we'll flip through it really quickly and just take a look but basically what it was is uh, they told different stories and you know Superman doing his thing and the last page was basically Doomsday um, punching through his uh, his containment I guess and it's interesting in this one um, they had a creature uh, appearing in this one that was doomsday like uh, in appearance but was nowhere near as powerful as doomsday um, so it was an interesting teaser uh, great eastern convention right and they show the hand of this creature and the silhouette and this was the creature take a look at this and if you know doomsday this is sort of doomsday-esque i guess but this one looks humorous compared to what doomsday was or is and um, doomsday is actually uh, from what i understand uh, is uh, the only foe of superman that superman actually fears in the comic books because he's so powerful right let me take a look at this the doomsday wow the joke that looks like doomsday i guess this series the batman adventures was actually very good uh, the comics that came out uh, harley quinn made her first appearance in uh, batman adventures i believe it's number 12 i can't remember So it's interesting superman you know fights this character that looks like doomsday and beats him easily and that's the page where doomsday appears so what we'll do we'll read the last panel uh to the introduction of doomsday and it's actually very interesting because these panels were for sort of foreshadowing what was to come uh, in this one, I'm not sure what the storyline is, but let's just read the last panel. Uh, if they don't hand it over fast, we reach our fists. We reach out our fist and we take it. And the fist is punching. Uh, I forget what these things are called uh, in the caves, right? And then you flip, and Doomsday is punching uh, his containment right somewhere else as the text says crank 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 and from the outside you can hear the crank right at the bottom doomsday is coming So this was, uh, this is considered to be the first appearance of Doomsday, and it is um, the first appearance of Doomsday. 
Um, and it looks like uh, Doomsday's claws are coming out of his uh, his fists. Okay, somewhere else. Gentle Doomsday is coming. Okay. And this is a memorial for uh, Joe Schuster uh, that I guess passed away in 1992. Jerry Siegel, the comic book field has lost a great artist and a true pioneer who will be sorely missed. So keep this panel in mind, or this page in mind. Cliffhanger, right? And in the uh, next issue in uh, Superman Man of Steel number 18 is where Doomsday uh, makes his first appearance. And this is, uh, and this issue, is, it is a beautiful cover. It's one, uh, one of my favorite covers for Superman that I've seen uh, and that I have. Uh, it's brilliant really okay so let's back this up again and um, take a look at the next issue right Superman number 73 and it's the second uh, cameo appearance of uh, Doomsday right so let's crack this open just has a you know some kind of story going on with this and all of these issues are mint copies I've actually never flipped through these ones before so these are brand new I bought these uh, um, when I when I figured out uh, that the Doomsday storyline was going I I jumped on the Doomsday storyline right away I found that the build up for it was interesting and when I found out that these were actually the first appearances of Doomsday, I went into the um, the bins, um, the, the uh, previous issues, the back bins, and uh, pulled out uh, you know a few copies of each one of these because I wanted the first few cameo appearances. Booster Gold, Superman, having an adventure, I guess. Right. So let's go. Uh, let's start off from the back, and just go and read the last panel. Right. Read the panel previous to the Doomsday uh, cameo. Wave Rider. Doomsday is coming for Superman. This time, the never-ending battle ends. So here's the next page. And let's read the last panel. Actually, let's read the last three panels. Stand aside. Stand aside. Give us room. No pulse. Better try it. CPR. No response, not even a twitch. Oh, I guess this person's had a heart attack or something. I'm sorry, folks. Look like massive cardiac arrest. Nothing we can do. Nothing anyone can do. Oh, that's Superman right there. Except the linear men. They can bring the dead back to life. 
No wonder they, they scare me. It's over, Grandpa. So the last panel is uh, for the build up for these uh, issues of Superman. They were sort of foreshadowing what was to come. Um, it was brilliantly put together and we go to the last uh, page again and again somewhere else right crank 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 oh and you see holes being punched into the metal containment from the outside you see it appearing so his claws are coming out louder louder doomsday is coming nice teaser eh? second cameo appearance of uh, of doomsday for these uh, these would have been uh, either coming on the same week or one week apart um, so four weeks in a month they would come come out one week uh, lagging possibly I can't remember but this is uh, November November 1992 and this is uh, number 43 right and that's you know chronological order that's how they organized it you knew which order to read the superman issues the titles and again this is november and this is adventures of superman number 496 been running for a very long time this uh this series okay. and again this is a beautiful mint copy never been read and we're reading it for the first time let's take a look at this as far as grading goes uh, all of these books would be uh, easily 9.2 9.4 right. beautiful color If you had a seriously harsh grader, maybe they would grade them as nine, but I can't see that. Right. So, again, Superman is having some kind of adventure. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the last page again. Doomsday is coming for Superman. And let's read the last uh, two panels of this, okay? You're sharper than I've given you credit for. Bit of a backhand and compliment, but I'll take it. Better watch it don't want to take an enemy don't so he's uh, I believe this is Lex Luthor uh, with hair uh, yes it is Lex Luthor take a look at this he's calling him Lex so he's thinking in his head uh, better watch it don't want to make an enemy of him no offense intended sorry As Superman replies if I depended solely on Braun, my crime-finding career wouldn't have lasted 20 minutes, Lex. So again, foreshadowing that uh, they're about to kill Superman. And again, the words. Somewhere else. He 
he's broken through, yeah? You can see his claws. Doomsday is coming. So this would be uh, the third cameo appearance of uh, Doomsday. Just a fist, right? So let's throw this back in the cover and take a look at the next issue. Superman in Action Comics, uh, number 683, right? And this one again is November 1992, right? And number 44 in the series for the Superman titles. And this is a beautiful cover as well, actually. I really like this cover. Night of the Jackal. This one too is beautiful copy. Right. Little bit of spine stress here, just very little. You give this uh, at least a nine, nine point two. Corners look extremely sharp. So again, let's flip to the back and see. Uh, Joe Schuster Memorial. Let's take a look. Let's read the last two panels again. Okay. Actually, let's read the last three, I guess. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just like I, just like the perp said. You mean that bald? swear word actually turned himself in sure i did and watch your language i ain't no brain i ain't no brain surgeon but i'm smart enough not to cross superman i never doubted that for a moment ah may i give you officers a hand taking the jackal down Guess maybe this is the jackal. Oh, this is the jackal. Yeah. Hey, be our guest. Too bad. Harry looks. Eh, too bad, Harry. Looks like you found out the hard way. It don't matter how tough you are. There's always someone out there who's bigger and stronger. Again, serious foreshadowing for. Uh, what was to come in the Superman titles with uh, the death of Superman, right? And then you flip the page. And we have Doomsday still punching this containment, right? Somewhere else. Crank, crank, crank. Kroom, kroom, right? Doomsday is here, it says. So Doomsday is free. And if you recall, uh, when we read the Valiant Comics Magnus number five, a lot of these, uh, there was no uh, sound effects, words for the action that was happening. It was, um, it was very different than a lot of the mainstream comics that were being put out with sound effects. I actually like both. I, I do like the sound effects here, the way it's done. And I also like the simplicity of what valiant was doing right so there's a whole month of build-up of cameo appearances of just doomsday fist punching through uh, and getting free of his containment uh, that was a build-up to doomsday uh, that of superman
And this is the fourth cameo appearance of uh, Doomsday in the Superman titles, right? And let's throw this back as well. So maybe what we'll do is um, we'll have a look through uh, the first full appearance of Doomsday and uh, see what's going on in that. We won't read it, but uh, let's just... Uh, Take these. So these are the first four cameo appearances of Doomsday, right? And it goes from number 41 to number 44 in the story arc. So Superman, Man of Steel, number 18. And again, this is a beautiful, beautiful copy. Absolutely mint. So let's crack this open. And there is, uh, I believe, uh, for as far as movies go, um, there is a doomsday movie being made, or the script is already done for it, I think. And that's one going to be... Uh, one of the Superman movies that's going to come out in two or three years, in 2017 or 18. So let's uh, let's flip through this one and just read the Doomsday uh, Doomsday pages, uh, Doomsday panels, the beginning of the end, Doomsday. Right. And the official uh, death of Superman, the Doomsday storyline went from um, number 45 in the series um, and I can't I can't remember how far down it went somewhere on earth crank crank Kroom. Krak -boom. Kum. the sound effects doomsday punching through his containment totally free right the birds are flying away squawk 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 take a look at this long panel he's punching through the earth coming through crack crack the sound effect changes a little bit right it's not metal anymore Earth breaks. Earth breaks on the ground. Crack. Doom. Beautiful, really. Doomsday on one side, Superman on the other. Part one. There's the doomsday look like the one Superman beat up before, right? In the previous issue, this is uh, Man of Steel number 18. It was in Man of Steel number 17, right? That this story arc was going. Here's another doomsday page. Let's take a look. And you can tell the comic is just sitting, right? It's got serious integrity, like it hasn't been read before. Elsewhere, it says, Doomsday just standing, looking, chirp, 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 the birds, chirp, chirp, chirp. C crushes the bird, lurch, ha, 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 laughing away. Superman is going along as, uh, about his business, right? Fighting this guy. Look at this doomsday. 
they look alike. Weak. Doomsday again. Here's the Doomsday page. Elsewhere. And Doomsday just wants to kill. He wants to destroy life. Crack. Cram. Crack. Just destroying things. Trees. Anything, right? Life. Superman just puts a grenade in this guy's mouth. Look at this. Boom. Grenade blows up in his mouth. Oh, and that's it. Knocked out with a grenade. Can't do that with Doomsday. Doomsday again, page. Let's check this one out. Elsewhere. Right. Highway traffic. Doomsday goes up. Oh, did we miss a page? We might have missed a page. No, we didn't miss a page. It. So there's traffic. Doomsday is coming. Crack. Crack. Kaboom. Kadoom. <laughs> He's right there. Right. He just destroyed a bridge or something. Just tore it apart. It's still humorous. I think that's Lois Lane kicking Superman in the bum. So this is uh, last panel before uh, Doomsday starts again. The last couple of pages, teasers, right? So let's see what this says. You know, Grub, there's wor there's worse down here than war, war worlders, war war worlders. Tongue twister. You think I could tell them my duty as correspondent and all? Nah. Bloodthirst is our problem, but it's good to know if we can't handle him, we can all, we can call in Superman. Right. Everyone's dependent on Superman. You can always call Superman. He's always around, except after Doomsday. So again, I don't want to push these days. Check this out. Elsewhere. Rome truck zooming by. What the heck? Hey, buddy, get out of the way. What do you think you're? He just stops the truck in his tracks. Right there's Doomsday right there in the middle of the highway. Schwamm. The sound effects are hard to read. Ha ha ha. He's just laughing and walking away. One arm tied behind his back. Truck flipped over. Everything's on fire. State troopers. Chuck Johnson calling state troopers. I read you, Mr. Johnson. What is it? Big monster. Big monster flip moon's rig. One hand tied behind his back. It's burning. Fit to pop. Did you say monster? Yeah. Big ass. Big as a something else. Swear word. Hello. What are we here? The dude's tearing up the whole interstate. He's heading east. Please, you've got to stop him. Now, 
This sounds like a job for the Justice League. I guess this is uh, the guy who calls in the Justice League. Continued in Justice League America number 69, then in Superman 74, both on sale next week. Okay. So we'll go uh, to Justice League America 69 and take a look at that. And that issue is um, very, very crucial because in that issue, um, Booster Gold actually names uh, Doomsday, Doomsday. As far as I know, that's the first time he was called Doomsday. Uh, so it's in issue number 69 of the Justice League of America that uh, Doomsday is named. And I believe the, the appearances of Superman or uh, the appearance of Doomsday are uh, there's way more action with Doomsday in this issue than there is in this issue so this is a second full appearance of Doomsday okay so let's put this here and let's crack open uh, Justice League number 69 it's actually not expensive at all to grab your grab copies of these which I'm very surprised on so let's just uh, flip through this and see uh, see what the action is uh, we're not gonna read it uh, but we'll flip through it because it's uh, this is a brilliant story arc and it's worth reading uh, uh, if you want to if you want a fantastic story of uh, uh, an emotional story of the death of Superman and it was very well done so Doomsday is uh, going at it just destroying everything in his path comes across a deer grabs the deer by the neck and squishes it oh look at this just brutal right grabs his neck, pulls him up. Look at the deer kicking. Oh, question mark for Doomsday. Here comes the Justice League, right? Throws a stick up. Boom. Goes through Boo Beetle's ship. And they're crashing down. And what we'll do, uh, we'll go fairly through this fairly quickly and just go to the part where Booster Gold calls him Doomsday because I think that is very important, very important moment. This is Guy Gardner going in head first as he does always, right? He gets beat up a lot. <laughs> Batman has a habit of beating him up too. Take your pick, burial or, burial or cremation. Right. Jumping towards doomsday. Look at this, doomsday still has one hand tied behind his back. Boom. He grabbed Guy Gardner. Bam. Oh, so fast. I didn't even see him. Mo Stopped halfway sentence halfway through the word right boom stomp some guy gardener like this punches him in the head very violent like this just grabs him by the head he's about to kill him and he's just laughing there's guy gardener he's 
friends came to the rescue, right? But he's beat up, he's done. They're all trying to take him down. They think they can. Corp building or Lex Corp something anyway. And I think throughout this whole thing, Superman has given an interview. Yeah, he's just given an interview on TV talking about, I guess, what his responsibilities are, right? Just destroying them, right? Doomsday. Here's the issue numbers for Doomsday. Uh, Superman triangle numbers 45 from 1992, number 45, through till 1993 with number 2. Uh, Man of Steel number 18 through Superman number 75. And that's the black cover one that we... Uh, took a look at right oh, doomsday's grab the blue beetle right boom just destroying him look at this look at his face Grabs them by the legs. They're like toys. Cut. Oh, the news is getting to Superman that there's a special report. Justice League is uh, getting beat up. They're in trouble. Wow, look at Blue Beetle just tossed around like a little rag, eh? I think it may be too late, Booster, but I pray I'm wrong. Oh, they're worried that it might be dead. Booster Gold, no, he gets angry. What does that say? I have reports of the Justice League battling a heinous monster at a Lex oil refinery in Ohio. Reports indicate the League is unable to stop this destructive stampede. Superman, I have to go. So Superman's coming to the rescue, right? I'm tired of playing tag with you, ugly. Let's see you walk away from a full intensity blast. So Booster Gold is zapping him with a blast. <laughs> doesn't even budge Doomsday. Look at this. He's still coming. Got to get my force field up before. Just turning on his force field. Look at the punch coming in. Pow. And he's laughing. Ha ha ha. Just sends Booster Gold flying. Here comes Superman. Let's read these last, uh, I think this is the last couple of pa pages. How could one man stand against the whole league? Soon as I'm up over the horizon, I'll be able to check things out with my telescopic vision. This booster called thinking, man, I just barely raised my force field in time. The force of his blow is overpowering my flight ring. If he can do this to me, Imagine what he what he did to the beetle to beetle Wonder if the rubber suited powerhouse is biological Or some kind of doomsday machine Here's the first time that it's referred to as doomsday Cool, eh? That's far enough booster. That's Superman grabbing him you Right
nice panel of Superman. Teaser, right? Let's see what Superman says. I hear you people are having some trouble. Trouble isn't the word, Superman. I'm telling you right now, it's like doomsday is here. Ah, cool. All right. Continued in Superman number 74. Don't you dare miss it. So this is, uh, as far as I know, the first time Doomsday was called Doomsday. So pretty important issue and uh, definitely a full appearance uh, of Doomsday, uh, part of the Death of Superman story arc, right? Um, I believe the only one that was outside of the Superman titles. This was the only... Uh, Outside story until the funeral for a friend and stuff, right? And then after this, we have uh, well, after this, we have a few of the issues of Superman, and the death of Superman concludes in uh, Superman number 75. And it's a, a fantastic storyline, uh, very, very emotional. And it's a beautiful cover. And in this plastic bag, the, this is sealed, and in the bag, there's um. There is uh, there's a card, there's a poster. Um, I can't remember what else was in here. Right, if we take this out. It's a sealed bag. Superman memorial set. Superman with fold out splash back cover, full color memorial poster, full color commemorative stamp, daily planet obituary, Black morning armband. I remember that. Exclusive spy, sky, sky box trading card. Okay. Cool, eh? And uh, this story arc, uh, including the four pages, uh, the four cameo appearances of things, they, they are uh, available through trade paperback if you feel like reading them so you don't have to go back and collect all the floppies. Um, but this is basically the Doomsday story arc with the first appearance, cameo appearance in Superman Man of Steel number 17, right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.